Hey guys, it's me Brandy. I know it's been a while since I did a video. I just thought I'd pop on here and do an eye makeup look to go with my Seahawks and since it is the playoffs. So I'm just going to do a quick base. I'm going to do my primer. I'm going to do my foundation. I'll show you everything I use quick and then I will pause the video, put it on and then come back. So for my primer, I will be using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty. I just warm it up on my finger. I do use my hands for this. I know some people use their sponge, but I don't like to get this stuff in my sponge. I really just try to focus this where I have some big pores, which are actually my nose, on my cheeks, and on my chin. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. And I did get the shade Light, and it is a little bit dark and yellow for me. And then I'm also going to be mixing it with this Morphe too, and it's a hint of Ivory. So I'm going to be mixing these two. I already wet my beauty sponge. And right now with the pandemic, if you get any concealer and it is the wrong shade for you, you can always, always, always get a lighter concealer and you can make it work. So just always remember that. So it's just all about blending. I'm going to come back on here when I'm done blending it all in. Okay guys, I'm back. I blended it all out. I go back in with my concealer, my Tarte Shape Tape, and the color Porcelain Beige. I also usually use this or my other e.l.f. concealer, my Camo Concealer for my eyelid primer. I'm just going to go in here. I try not to go in super heavy with this. I know some people do. I do not. I'm already pale enough as it is. Just blend this all out. I use the same exact blender. Make sure you get in the corner of your eyes. Make sure you always stamp it in the corner of your eyes. You always want to blend it out. Anywhere that the natural light would touch is where you're going to stamp it out. This concealer is really good at covering up dark circles. I have a lot of friends that say I'm so wrinkly. So if you see, I have bags. But once you actually put the powder in, it actually kind of covers that up. So, And try not to drag. You just want to bounce. Because if you drag it, it's going to take all the product away. You just want to kind of bounce it. Now I have this new powder, this Photo Focus Wet n Wild, it's a little dirty. I actually take the same exact sponge 
and I just take a little tiny bit of powder and I just dab it anywhere that I put my concealer. And that's all that I put on my concealer. Some people will put it all over their face. I do not. I take a bigger fluffy brush, okay? And I actually take this e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And this is in the shade beige. It's really light, because I'm really light. And I will brush this all over my face. Any other place where there wasn't concealer, and it just locks in the entire face and it makes the concealer not dewy so it makes your face matte it makes it really nice for everything else okay on to the next step so some people do their eyes first i do not do my eyes first some people do their eyes first and then they get rid of that. Sometimes I just put the setting powder underneath if it's an eyeshadow that has a lot of fallout. Sometimes I don't. So what I normally do next is I usually do my bronzer and all that next. So I'm going to go in with my sh my Tarte. It is Park Avenue Princess. I'm going to show you the color. Go in and tap it off. I start a little above this line right here just because my face is rounder. Just gonna work it in, swirl it in. Sometimes I do it a little heavy only because I'm so fair. And then sometimes I'll go back in with the powder. And I'll go up here in my hairline. I don't have a really high forehead, so I don't put a lot up here. Just a little bit, just so I don't look so pale. I'm just going to blend it in. Get my mirror. So I don't know if that reads already on camera. So you can see how it's already helping me a little bit that I'm not so pale. Now you always go under your chin, blend it out a little bit. My chin kind of goes like this. So I always try to go like this. And then you'll see from the front, it kind of tries to hide it a little bit. I just want to shade it in as much as possible, get rid of that neck. I'm going to take an angled brush. This is my Morphe E62 brush. It's just kind of at an angle. I'm going to go in the same color. I'm just going to go down my nose a little bit. Kind of angle it up into my eyebrows a little bit. I 
I'll show you later what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. My next step is going to be blush. Just going to take this little brush. It is a long comb brush. I just got it with a long comb set. This is the one that I like to use. I got this Moonstruck blush. It's from Unique. I just really like this shade. It is this shade Supple. Let's see if I can get it open. I really like this one. Actually, maybe I won't. Let me see. I had this little palette out. Maybe I'll try this. I got this from Phase Zero. It is the Blush and Bronzer Trio. Let me try this. Maybe I'll try mixing those two first shades. Let me see if it even says what it is. It actually doesn't say. Let me try mixing these two shades. Let's see if it gives any color. Yeah, it's pretty. I got this in one of my boxy charm boxes. Okay. Next is going to be my eyebrows so I do not do much with my eyebrows at all I use my little elf eyebrow pencil and it is in the color Auburn and then I go back in with my little give me brow give me brow and I got this little sample that was also in one of my, see it has a little spoolie? I just go up and spoolie them. Now I do go in and I pluck my eyebrows. I try to give them some kind of shape. They're so light. My arm hair is very light. I am just, I just dyed my hair too. It was kind of fading from when I dyed it purple. I tried to dye it red. Some of it was fading and some of it was colored. I don't know. Hopefully it stays this color. So let's see what I can do here. I usually just use this to darken them in a little bit so it looks like I actually have eyebrows. I try not to go too crazy with my eyebrows. I don't want them to look super fake or crazy shaped. I just want it to look like I have eyebrows. And I usually go back in with a spoolie. Just pull the product up into the eyebrows so it looks like natural hair. Really fine. Now when I put my eyeshadow primer back on, which is as you know, my tart. I will kind of clean up underneath if I made any mistakes. This kind of just locks it in, my gimme brow. Kind of makes them look a little bit better. Kind of lifts them up a little bit. Darkens them just a little bit. I feel bad I haven't been on here in a while. I want to start a YouTube channel, then I never post anything. But when you have four kids and two dogs, 
it gets a little crazy but I promise I will try to get on here more so that's pretty much the finished eyebrow I try not to go super dark like I said I want it to kind of match my hair so now what I'm going to do is since I kind of got everything going that I want to do I am going to pause the video because I need to go find my other setting powder so I can sculpt out my face okay I'm back I have the city color HD powder I'm actually just going to open it. I have this tiny little sponge here. I'm going to take some of this HD powder and I'm going to put it on the side of my nose here. I'm just going to let that sit on there. I'm going to take just a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. Just a little because it goes a long, long way. I am going to take my Morphe M416 and it's like a flat brush and I'm going to paint this all over my lids. This is going to be my eyeshadow primer. I need to see. I'm going to go as close to my eyebrows as possible. I'm going to drag it out as far as I can on the sides too in case I decide to take my eyeshadow out this way. So I'm trying to drag it out as far this way as I can and I'll blend it in because you can see it's kind of light. So and then I always get it in the corner. I put some underneath my eye because I will always put some eyeshadow under my eye. And you always want to wait a little bit to let it dry, just a little bit. Now, I have a couple different palettes because I want to kind of stick to like a green kind of theme because of the Seahawks. So I actually have, I have a Lancome palette out here. I have my James Charles palette and I have the Orgy palette just so I have some kind of cream colors to start out with. So I think I'm going to take my Orgy palette and I'm going to start with kind of a cream base. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is one of my Morphe brushes. I'm going to take the color Fluffer, which is just a really light color out of the Orgy palette. And I'm just going to put it all over the lid just to kind of set it.
So once I have that on there, let me look at James's palette so I can kind of get an idea. Because the Seahawks are blue and green. However, I just did a blue makeup look, so I may just stick with green. Let me. He's got this pretty dark green. Let me. He's got this dark green called Daddy. Let me show it to you. Let me see. If it starts to have a lot of fallout, I will put powder under my eye. I think it's going to. So let me just put powder under my eye. This is what you can do. You can just usually brush them away. I just put a little extra powder. extra powder. No big deal. Okay. We're going to dip in again. I'm just going to stamp that color on. Make it as close to you guys as possible. Okay, so we have that green color. Then I am going to He has this other dark color next to it, which is really pretty. But I am going to actually take this light green color, which is called Social Blade. And I'm going to put it on the inner corner and work my way up. It's a very light color green. So I'm going to save that shimmer color for the middle, I think. up some of this green so it looks like I'm losing it at all. Then I'm going to take a semi-clean brush. And just Try to soften the corners. A little bit. Taking a little of the, a shimmer shade. Try to blend it out up top. starting to look good. Now I'm going to take, he has a green 
it's kind of I'm just gonna get it on my finger and see what it looks like messy Put it on there and then I'm going to try to blend it out. So I'm just going to get more of that light green color. And I'm going to dab it in between and try to blend it. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and get rid of some of this powder. If you can see the effect on my nose now. And here. I'm going to finish this eye. I'm going to stamp some of the darker color and then transition it over to the lighter color. And then I'm going to do the other eye off camera for you guys. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye off camera, pop some lashes and mascara on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here it is. With the lashes, I put some white liner in the corner and up the side. So all that is left is highlighter, which I got this highlighter right here from Wet n Wild. I don't really like it. I'm going to try it again. It's Mega Glow. I think if you try it with your finger... And then put it on, but I'm going to try it with this highlighter brush. I think if you put it on with your finger, 
and then use the brush, it might work better. I'm going to use my Carly palette, my Carly by Bell palette. You can see that so much better. Okay, all that's left is lips. So what I'm gonna do is, I just have this Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner. It is in the color Purely Nude. Just gonna line my lips. And then I got these new today at Kohl's, actually. It was a whole bundle. They're NYX. It is the Diamond and Ice. I'm actually going to go in for the second shade. Very hard to get out. Hopefully I can get it out. These are soft matte lip creams, and this color is, what is the color? I don't know if it says the color on here. Paolo, I guess. We're going to see what this looks like. Oh, maybe not. Not with this look. I'm going to go in for the more nude color. Because I think this looks a lot brighter than it was supposed to look. Okay. So, I'm going to go back in with my lip liner. Hit it again. I'm going to go in with this other shade that's more nude. And they kind of smell really good. They kind of smell like, I can't even tell you, like creme brulee or something. This one is called, they have the weirdest canes. Hopefully this one is more nude. They are very pretty though. This one is like a pink color too, but more nude. Pink. They're really silky. Now, it is like a lighter color, but because of the light, it actually looks way brighter. I went a little outside. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. And there you 
have it guys that's the final look my hair looks a little bit crazy I'm gonna put some setting spray on it see my hair is a lot darker let me put some setting spray on here and there you have it go Seahawks I hope you enjoyed my video Please, please, please subscribe and like the video. And if there's anything you want to see from me, just let me know. Thanks. Have a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I'm so pretty and he